Hey on guys, this is Mark from Castle Forge Photography. With Metricon just around the corner, I wanted to reflect on my experiences attending the con last year and how it changed my photography processes forever. Cut. Metricon is one of Melbourne's newest cons. Starting in 2023, it's now its second year. Metricon stands out from the other Comic Cons by being located at the Melbourne showgrounds. It also opens the purse strings for some big high profile stars. In its first year, Metricon landed headline Stranger Things stars David Harbour and Jamie Campbell Bower. But we're not here for the big guests, we're here for cosplay and photography, so let's get into it. Metricon was the first Comic Con that I decided to pre book and charge for shoots. I booked six shoots prior to the event and four on the day. Each shoot would last about 30 minutes and cost $50 Australian. The rationale for charging was to recoup some of the travel costs for attending interstate cons. I live in Adelaide and we have three Comic Cons a year, but all the biggest and most popular cons are in Melbourne. After attending half a dozen cons in Melbourne, each cost me up to $1,000 each. I knew I had to find a way to subsidize my travel. So after a year of doing free shoots, I decided to start charging. The shoots themselves actually range from brilliant to frustrating depending on the amount of available light. Uh, the shoots outside were chilly but the natural light worked wonders. The wind was also an excellent element to utilise if you could keep the hair out of subject's face. Kids are excited. Yes, do it, do it, do a spin. The underpass was a very popular shooting location. It was excellent for dark, moody shots, but in some areas, the darkness was just too overwhelming. So I preferred to shoot near the exits. Luckily I have my Nanlite RGB tube handy for a bit of extra light and colour and kind of spice up the shoots a little bit. Because this is a paid shoot, I made sure that each shoot is individually colour graded and has a unique look. Uh, this is necessary when charging. You want to make sure that people are getting their extra attention and uh, getting their money's worth. Turning my way. And resetting so as if you like to I delivered an average of about 20 shots per shoot some of which even made it into my portfolio. So what was the outcome? From what little I was able to experience of Metricon, it was a pretty decent Comic Con, although there were some teething issues being the first year. Overall, it was a fun con away from the usual location of the Melbourne Convention Centre allowing for some different locations and some fun new looks. Yeah. 
this is all. As long as you're able to deliver what you've stated, you will deliver for that money, um, then people are pretty happy to pay you. Yeah, it's good, it's good cardio. Oh, well done guys, this is awesome. All right, excellent. All right, pointing game, guns at me. Well done. Uh, David, can you slow your gun slightly? There we go. Perfect. Now, guns at each other. <laughs> Metricon taught me that it was possible to recoup some of my travel costs to going to interstate cons. And if you want to know where I go from here, just to watch my next video. Thanks guys.